Thank you very much. Everybody saw what happened today. I don't think we have to do any expl explaining. I'm not allowed to anyway, because this judge is corrupt. He's a corrupt judge. This judge, what he did, and what his ruling was is a disgrace. Everybody saw what happened today. He's a corrupt judge, and he's totally conflicted. And I got to get back on the campaign trail. I'm not supposed to be here. We are so innocent. There's never been anything like it. Read every single analyst, legal analyst. I'm innocent, and I'm being held in this court with a corrupt judge who's totally conflicted. Take a look at his conflict. It's a disgrace to the city of New York, to the state of New York, and to the country. Thank you very much. Donald Trump's lawyers were denied in their second request for a mistrial at the former president's hush money criminal trial. Trump's lawyers asked Judge Juan Mershon Thursday afternoon to end the trial. They said that Stormy Daniels' testimony on Tuesday and Thursday had been unfairly prejudicial to the former president. Daniels testified about what the defense contended was a power dynamic and the visceral reaction she had in the encounter she says happened at a hotel room in 2006 in Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Now, some of the details had been shared with Donald Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, when he decided to pay Stormy Daniels $130,000 on the eve of the 2016 election. That's the hush money payment really at the heart of this trial. But defense lawyers say the story that Stormy Daniels told on the stand did not match what Cohen was told and what the impetus was for that payment. The testimony, according to Trump lawyer Todd Blanche, amounted to a dog whistle for rape. But Dales made clear in her testimony that her encounter that she says happened with Trump, that it was consensual. The prosecution said that the details that she offered were necessary to prove her contention that there was a sexual encounter and to show the motivation for Trump years later to want that story suppressed. Assistant District Attorney Joshua Steinglass said that defense lawyers had made a misleading impression that Stormy Daniels had changed her testimony, that it was radically different from what it always was. And Judge Juan Mershon said that the defense opened the door for some of those details to be allowed into the trial because at the outset in their opening statement, they argued that no sexual encounter had ever occurred. Trump denies any sex with Stormy Daniels, and after the trial concluded for the day, he made an impassioned statement in the hallway outside the courtroom. He said, I am innocent. The trial resumes on Friday, and then we'll continue into next week.